Good afternoon. Family is on both sides of this tragedy. Packed the courtroom this morning to hear Stephen Romeo, that is the man who crashed his pickup truck into a limousine filled with young women, plead guilty. But that guilty plea was only to a traffic infraction, driving while ability impaired. Prosecutors here in Suffolk County say that his .06 blood alcohol level 90 minutes after that terrible crash would not have resulted in a DWI conviction. So they agreed to this plea and a sentence of only 90 days of a license suspension and an $885 fine. There were gasps and sobs in court from the victim's parents. Four young women who were leaving a North Fork vineyard back in July of 2015 when their limo driver made what was then a legal but dangerous U-turn into the path of Stephen Romeo's pickup truck. Prosecutors say a reenactment proved that the crash just wasn't Romeo's fault. A uh, sober driver would not have been able to uh, react and prevent the crash based upon the limo driver's actions that day. Steve Romeo was not the fault of the, or the cause of the accident, nor was he intoxicated. We said that from day one, and today's um, resolution of the case confirms that. But what no one has known is that Steve has felt sorrow for the families from day one. Well, those families left court clearly outraged and upset. Charges had been dropped earlier uh, last year uh, against the limo driver, Carlos Pino, and now this. Uh, not a day in jail for the driver of the pickup truck. The families collectively are suing both drivers, and they left court calling this a disgrace. In Central Islip, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News.